federal hate crimes, as I noted. South Carolina, one of three states that does not have a hate crime statute. Also, he's facing 12 federal obstruction of exercise of religion charges because the murders happen at a church and nine weapons charges as well. Federal officials haven't decided yet if they'll pursue the death penalty in the case. And as our Tara Pettit shows you, that factored into Friday's hearing. Federal prosecutors, defense attorneys, family members and media crowded their way into a federal courtroom in Charleston Friday morning. Inside, 21-year-old Dylan Roof appeared in the same gray and white striped prison jumpsuit he was wearing earlier this month when he appeared in a county courtroom just a few blocks away. His attorney told a judge Roof wanted to plead guilty to dozens of federal charges, but said because the government hasn't decided whether to seek the death penalty in the case, attorneys could not advise Roof on the issue. The judge ultimately entered a not guilty plea on all 33 charges. I really don't think the young man may have understood exactly the depth of what he's done. Attorneys representing the Emanuel AME Church were very vocal that justice must be had in the shooting deaths of the Emanuel Nine. Even though he has taken away the most precious thing in my life, he will not take my joy away. Those are words spoken by the daughter of a Mother Emanuel shooting victim. Several family members spoke in court Friday, extending grace towards the shooter. Obviously, it's an anxious situation for them. I think they, they trust in the system. They're going to uh, follow it step by step until it's complete. 44 days after their family members were murdered inside a sanctuary, loved ones continue to grieve as the beginning of a long road to justice has begun. This is a long journey, but most certainly we are committed to the task to make sure that justice is done. We ask the media, we ask the onlookers, we ask those who are watching to demand that justice be had in this particular case. In addition to the possibility of life in prison and the death penalty, Roof also faces more than a million dollars in fines. He is due back in court on August 20th. In Charleston, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.